Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who this world only calls God. The true name of, of his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who this world only calls Jesus. Bahashim is in the name of Chakwadash through the Holy Spirit. And the Wadi Ha for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Pursuing the Isaiah the 33rd chapter and the 6th verse is going to be the stability of our times, all right? And just a quick exhortation that I, um, I just wanted to bring out through the Spirit was really meditating on it and uh, really going into, you know, the, the hardships, you know, and the things we go through right now is really considered light, all right? Um, understanding the times we're coming into all right and i was talking about you know your little problems that you have in your day-to-day -day, you know going into all right you know you not maybe having enough shekels or you being short on bills or you know you having troubles with your lady all right things like that it's considered you know even ailments in our body you know that's really considered small all right when you weigh into the balance of exactly what we're about to head into. And what I mean by what we're about to head into is the time of when the so-called white man, starting with the elite banking families, all right, uh, introduce, not really introduce, but implement, mandatory implement the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, according to the scriptures. Okay. When all your possessions, all right, as far as, you know, even on a smaller note of you buying a bottle of water, you buying food, okay, working, putting gas in your car, everything is going to be linked to that chip, all right? So what we're going to, like, the, the stuff that, you know, <laughs> that, you know, in this way, we in this flesh, but nevertheless, again, it's all considered light, all right, knowing what we're about to hit into. You know, and this is why what Isaiah the 46th chapter, all right, and what is the Lord requiring us to show ourselves men, okay? Look to the former things and, you know, show ourselves men, okay? Because hey, you're going to have to be a man and not just any regular man, but a man of Yahweh Bashim al Shah in order to survive hey, what's about to take, up, uh, take on this planet Earth, man, okay? Because, again, all your possessions, you know, your possessions are going to get taken away. All right, because you're going to have to come under the uh, the notion, under the vibration of, you know, Esau Edom trying to implement his NWO, his new world order. All right. So, again, yeah, we go through the things that Yahweh Shemal Shah brings upon us. Hey, but we got to take it like the scripture says in the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Uh, the second chapter says to what? Take it cheerfully. All right. When I as brought. Uh, to a lower state You know Be patient When I are brought To a lower state And that's exactly What we gotta do We gotta be patient You know When the Lord Brings us to a lower state You know uh, Matter of fact Let me go ahead And go into it Alright I'm gonna bring out That chapter Book of Sirach Or Ecclesiastes Chapter 2 Starting at the top My son If thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul For temptation You see and it says, set thy heart all right and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thy mayest be increased at that last end. And, you know, the things that we go through are right, ultimately is not for our destruction. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah, Shah, right, are the battles, the Lord testing our faith is not for our destruction. It's really for us to be increased. OK, sometimes you go through. Uh, situations where Yahweh Shemal Shah is testing and trying your faith, okay? And hey, that's why hey, one thing the beloved brother from the camp, I don't want, you know, mentioned a long time ago is when adversity comes, hey, that's the opportunity or chance to be great, okay? Because again, Yahweh Shemal Shah is trying our, 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 in, our ends, if I, if I may say. He's trying us, okay? So again, you know, these situations, 
You know, especially, you know, Jake Bag being filled with holes, man. All right, understanding that it wasn't meant up, it wasn't set up for us to be up on this side. It wasn't set up for us to, you know, be living large. But nevertheless, you know, Jake go out there and, and, and slave and slave and slave, and then at the end of it, you know, you still, you know, you pulling out your pockets, and it's lit. All right, but that's just the Lord trying your faith, or some brothers, it may be a woman, before you were in the truth. You know, you had all the women. Now, you don't get any woman. That's the Yahweh Shemosha trying your faith to see if you're really for him. But the point I'm trying to make is, all right, we can't get too, we can't be, we can't get stuck on some moments all right, where the Lord tries us and, you know, <laughs> brings us to a lower state, man. All right, we have to understand that the Lord is preparing us hey, for the real test. All right, that's when you go into the book of Ezekiel, the 21st chapter. All right, when you read it in the NLT, okay, it goes into a test that the Lord is going to hey, test all of his people. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to get it in the NLT and just read it verbatim. Because, again, you know, if you getting, you know, uh, messed up in the mind with these small things. And, you know, again, brothers going through things and it may not be considered small, but... For the point of this lesson, you know, if you getting caught or stuck up on these small things, how much more when, okay, how much more when Yahweh Bashma Shah really turns it up, okay? And again, that's through, all right, the MOTB. That's through when the uh, microchip is mandatory, all right, upon the planet Earth, starting here in Babylon, all right? So let me go into the NLT just to show you again. Hey, ultimately, hey, this is a test of your how about Shemal Shah. All right, Ezekiel chapter 21. I'm going to just try to get the point. Let me start at verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 21 and 11. And this, this is in the NLT. Yes, the sword is now being sharpened and polished. It is being prepared for the executioner, Esau, Edom, son of man. Cry out and wail. Pound your thighs in anguish, for that sword, for that sword will slaughter my people and their leaders. Everyone will die. It will put them all to the test. What chance do they have? Says the sovereign Lord. You see, it will put them all to test, and that's going into the MOTB, man. Okay, this is gonna be a test from the heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, you're even gonna have men. All right, men are gonna be martyrs, man. All right, men are gonna, you know, get literally lose their life for the witness of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so again, you know, the things that brothers go through, the things you know brothers are going through right now. All right, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's not valid, but we gotta look at the, you know, the broader picture, if I may say. Okay. That hey, the stuff we go through right now is building us up, you know, for the real test. All right, this is like pre-tests. All right, this is all uh, uh, um, exam reviews, if I may say. You know, the Lord bringing us down to tear us up. I mean, the Lord is uh, bringing us down, you know, to bring us back up. Nevertheless, okay, these situations that we go through. It's for a for us to understand hey, the Lord is dealing with us, man. Abu Radazai would be a part of that number. Okay? So that was just really, you know, a quick lesson that I did want to go into that hey, we gotta, you know, stay strong in how about Shemal Shah. You know, the Lord ain't <laughs> you know, Babylon wasn't meant to destroy us, man, mentally. Okay? Especially now knowing this truth. Alright, it's not us it's it's not set up for us to get conquered all right you know mentally spiritually okay revelation chapter 21 verse 7 he that overcometh uh matter of fact i'm gonna close out with that man you know overcoming you know overcoming all these obstacles overcoming all these situations overcoming you know all this bullshit all right and, and guess what that's gonna hey we're being increased Okay, Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. 
he that overcometh shall inherit all things, right? So we got to be in the spirit of overcoming, you know, not the spirit of letting this place take us over. No, we got to overcome this place, man. Okay? And it says, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. Salakia, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Okay? So again, overcoming. All right, so, you know, this captivity, Esau eat him, and that was his goal, all right, to, to destroy us. But nevertheless, you know, his, his whole goal, again, him being a tormentor, him being the executioner, you know, he's going to try to, especially since they try to wear out the saints, you know, the shit that we go through in our day-to-day, -day, you know, these demons and Satan really trying to bring us down. But we got to understand, hey, when the Lord delivers us from situations, when the Lord, you know, shows us that he's dealing with us, I brought this out, we be those men. And hey, that's for us to, you know, you know, that's for us to be built up. That's all edification in a way, man. For us to be increased. All right, so when that time comes and hey, we're ready, all right, the Lord is showing us how to stay ready, you know. It's like, it. yeah, the Lord is showing us how to stay ready. So we don't have to be uh, uh, get ready, man. All right. So, hey, Lord, we're going to let us to the next time. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rechach, Badash. That one of the apostles, and that was a great meal. So, and I will peace, blessed unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom, and above all.